pulling on everyone's heartstrings, especially those families who fear loved ones will be lost. But the universal language of music comes to the rescue tonight in the voice of a Milwaukee unknown. The song is called Prayer for a Soldier. When you come home, son, come home, say, come home soon. Meet Mike Kajowski, Milwaukee car dealer turned country western singer. And this time, the message is straight from the heart. I don't care if this, re if this thing does anything as long as Bobby gets to hear it. If my son gets to hear the song one time, then it'll make it all worthwhile. When Mike's 19-year-old son, Robert, went to the Gulf in November, Mike took a trip to Nashville to get his mind off his troubles. He was always told he had a good voice, so he auditioned with an agent. You don't love me, but you won't let me be. Don't you ever get tired of hurting me. That's what I sang, right? He says, it's rough, but he said there's potential there. He says, you could... You know, he said, I'm not saying you're the best singer I ever heard. I'm not saying to say that you don't have nothing. He says, there is something there. He says, what can I tell you? He said, needs practice. And a heavily requested song by Mike Kajowski, a Milwaukee man who wrote a song for his son in the Gulf, and we'll play it next for you at WMIL FM 106. Thanks very much for your call. Thank you, sir. Okay, bye-bye. Hi, FM 106. Hi. I, wa I wanted to tell you that song is beautiful. It brought tears to my eyes. I really think it was a beautiful song. All right, thanks for your call. Thanks. Bye-bye. Right, WMIL and WBWI are the only radio stations in the area to play Mike's song tonight, but you just wait. He's going to take it back to Nashville. They're going to press it on record, and it will be available for sale. And as soon as we find out more about that, we'll let you know on the radio. Do you think it will do well? I think it will, because, like I said, it's a, it's a real concern. This is a real father who cares about his son. Come home, Come home, WMIL is playing it every two hours and is sending the song to the number one AM-FM country station in Nashville tomorrow. Mike's biggest hope, as he said, is that his song will get a chance to be heard by his son in the Gulf. He's hoping to ship out a recording this weekend. Wisconsin's Fort McCoy is sending four more Midwestern units to the south shelling and airstrikes landed on enemy lines north of Kafchi with such ferocity the Marines in their foxholes felt the ground tremble. On another part of the front, Army Apache helicopters blasted an Iraqi radar station knocking out six vehicles. The Allies seemed to be answering Iraq's peace maneuvers with a war-as-usual attitude. 2,600 air missions were flown, including a French missile strike against a bunker in Kuwait. Commanders would not even give a grant of safe conduct to Tarek Aziz on his trip to see Gorbachev. Uh, we control the airspace. Uh, we, uh, uh, we're at war. If they're flying over the Iraqi theater, theater of operations, they are at great extreme risk. The A-10 Warthog has been one key to recent success in the campaign against the Republican Guards, tanks, and troops. Two of the planes were lost over guard positions the first time that has happened. The Allied POW camps are now seeing a few guard troops ready to surrender. The U.S. commanders hunting for an explanation for a lack of enemy activity today suggested the two-week-old Battle of Kafchi was still haunting Iraqi officers who don't know how to cope with the American ability to use air power and artillery in a well-coordinated attack. It's believed that Saddam still has the ability to communicate directly with his commanders in Kuwait. So, U.S. generals believe they will know if he gives the order to withdraw. Until then, they say, Iraqi troops moving in any direction will be considered fair game unless they have white flags in their hands. Eric Engberg, CBS News, Saudi Arabia. Scott Pelle has been spending some time with soldiers of the U.S. Army Artillery Unit right near the front lines. He found them more than willing to keep the air now the song, Prayer for a Soldier, is resurfacing as troops are back in Iraq, and Michael joins us this morning. Michael, a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you. Tell us about how you wrote the song back, you know, 10, 12 years ago. Your son was uh, in, the, in the Gulf War, right. and you got the idea. What happened then? Well, I went to Nashville, and I met a producer there that had had the song partially written, and he was looking for someone else to help him finish it, but they had to be an entertainer and they had to have the son or daughter in Saudi Arabia. 
so together we finished the song and we brought it back to Milwaukee and it just took off like crazy. And your son's out of the service now, he's back home safe and sound, but you know what the parents of the soldiers are going through right now these days, you've been there. It's, that was the hardest thing I ever had to do was say goodbye to my son at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Uh, knowing he's going to go over to Saudi and fight for us. Just the hardest thing I ever had to do. Now, down in uh, Nashville, uh, they, they changed your name. You're Michael Kajowski, a Milwaukee <laughs> guy originally, and now Michael Hart, all part of the show business uh, routine, I guess. It's right? just easier to say, easier to remember. Now, the song is starting to resurface on, on some local radio stations, but if folks uh, want to hear the song on their favorite station, uh, what should they do? Just call our regular station and request it. And if they don't have it, they, their station can call here. And uh, they'll give me information how to get it. Okay. Michael Kajowski, known as Michael Hart in the show business trade. Uh, if you'd like more information about uh, the particular song we've been talking about, Michael Hart, P.O. Box 417. That's the address in Sussex. Uh, the zip is 53089. And now Michael's going to sing the song for us. Michael? <laughs> The Winter Wonderland of Value. Tribute to his son in the Persian Gulf. As Juliet Peters reports, it's a story of love and luck. And he is from Milwaukee, 
And the song is about his son who has gone to the Persian Gulf to fight for his country. Sometimes it's hard to be a father in these days and times. It's an emotional song with a poignant message. And here's the singer, a Milwaukee father who buys and sells cars for a living. I did it for my son. Don't you know it's hard for me not to cry. Robert is just 19. He's an Army engineer with the 101st. His dad went to Nashville in hopes of recording a song for him. There, he met a producer. And I went in his office, and he told me to sing to him without no guitar, no piano, or nothing. And he, after I sang, he said, yeah. He said, it's rough, but it's got potential. It can, it can be done. And then he told me he needed somebody that had a son or daughter in Saudi Arabia. And I, was, I told him I had a son in Saudi Arabia, and he says, you're the man I want. The song is now being played on WMIL, and it has been a hit with listeners. He went to Nashville and recorded it uh, for his son, actually, as who it was recorded for. Is that right? Yes. It sure is pretty. I hear something very real. I mean, it's, it, it's not Randy Owen from Alabama singing. It's a, it's a real guy from Milwaukee, a real city. And he's singing about a real concern that he has. It's hard to put it, to talk to it a father or a son, and say, I love you and this is how I feel. I want you home. The radio station says it will try very hard to get this tape to Robert before January 15th, because after that, his father knows it may be too late. When you come home, son, come home, son, come home, son. Juliet Peters, News Channel 4. I saw him from the heart. Quite a story. Mike Ushay is in the newsroom with a look ahead to News Channel 4 at 10 o'clock. Shield. Tonight, John McFadden, an Air National Guard staff sergeant with the 128th Refueling Group. John's 26. Star. Sometimes it's hard to be a father. Sometimes it's hard to be a father. The singer is Mike Kajowski. This Milwaukee man went to Nashville last month not to become a star, but looking to make a song for his son Robert, now serving in the Persian Gulf region. And as we say our goodbyes, don't you know, it's hard for me not to cry. This is the tune songwriter Andy Anderson played for Mike one day in Nashville. All I did was, I'm just shaking my head and I started, my whole body started kind of shaking because it touched me so much. Now, Prayer for a Soldier, sung by that soldier's wholesale car dealer dad, is one of the hottest songs in Milwaukee and maybe about to be even bigger. As you might imagine, the wholesale car business is kind of slow for Mike right now, but that may not matter at this time next week, because Monday, he goes national. And Monday morning, it will be played on 250 of the top radio stations in the USA. But with Bob still over there, Mike has mixed emotions. I'm happy for myself but not happy about the situation. So it, it's kind of, it's kind of tearing me up inside. When you come home, son, come home, say, come home soon. What a nice gift to yeah, son. Yeah, that is. It's a, yeah. it's a good song, too. By the way, next Monday night at 6.30, we have a special report called Golf. As Juliet Peters reports, it's a story of love and luck. And he is from Milwaukee, and the song is about his son who has gone to the Persian Gulf to fight for his country. Sometimes it's hard to be a father in these days and times. It's an emotional song with a poignant message. And here's the singer, a Milwaukee father who buys and sells cars for a living. I did it for my son. Don't you know it's hard for me not Robert is just 19. He's an Army engineer with the 101st. His dad went to Nashville in hopes of recording a song for him. There, he met a producer. And I went in his office, and he told me to sing to him without no guitar, no piano, or nothing. And he, after I sang, he said, yeah. He said, it's rough, but it's got potential. It can, it can be done. And then he told me he needed somebody that had a son or daughter in Saudi Arabia. And I, was, 
I told him I had a son in Saudi Arabia, and he says, you're the man I want. The song is now being played on WMIL, and it has been a hit with listeners. He went to Nashville and recorded it uh, for his son, actually, as it was recorded for him. Is that right? Yes. It sure is pretty. Uh, I hear something very real. I mean, it's... It, it's not Randy Owen from Alabama singing. It's a, it's a real guy from Milwaukee, a real city. And he's singing about a real concern that he has. It's hard to put it, to talk to a, a father or a son and say, I love you and this is how I feel. I want you home. The radio station says it will try very hard to get this tape to Robert before January 15th. Because after that, his father knows it may be too late. When you come home, son, come home, son. Juliet Peters, News Channel 4. I saw him from the heart. Quite a story. Mike Boucher is in the newsroom with a look ahead to News Channel 4 at 10 o'clock. Tonight, John McFadden, an Air National Guard Staff Sergeant with the 128th Refueling Group. John's 26. He has served in the armed forces ever since he graduated from Wauwatosa East High School. If you know somebody serving in the Gulf, we should salute. Send us a oil is worth that many lives. Our biggest concern is to make peace with ourselves before we go to war. I think that if Iraq invades Israel, I think they'll just have a lot more problems than what they started with. And as the crisis deepens, a Milwaukee father is praying for his son, a son who's a soldier serving in Saudi Arabia. It's a touching story, and John Drilling reports that this father has thousands of Milwaukeeans praying and singing along. 17 after 2 here at FM 106, and here's the song we've been talking about, Mike Kajowski of Milwaukee and his Prayer for a Soldier on FM 106. Sometimes it's hard to be a father in these days and times. The soldier in the song is Mike Kajowski's son, Robert, serving with 101st Airborne somewhere in the Saudi desert. When he left, I almost went, lost it. I mean, I was crying, he was crying. And Don't you know it's hard for me not to cry? I may never do anything else for him my whole life. This may be the last thing I can do for him. And I think everyone else in the world needs something, something like this song to believe in. Never really knowing what the future will bring. Hi, FM 106. Hi, uh, I just wanted to say that I think that song's really neat. You like it? Yeah, I have a brother over there, and I heard the song yesterday, and I started crying. Mm -hmm. It gives the uh, the reaction of the common man, I think, and it, it kind of touched the hearts of the people here in town, and especially those who have, uh, uh, you know, children and relatives uh, in the Persian Gulf area. If I don't do anything else the rest of my life, my son gets to hear this song, I'd be happy. When you come home, son, come home, son. Now, it's vital to Mike to get this song to his son by the 15th, the U.N. deadline. Mike, I can tell you tonight, I haven't been able to reach you on the phone, but I've gotten assurances from military officials. We can get the tape to Saudi Arabia by then. Some good news. Knowing they had a lot of support. Mike, tonight's meeting was uh, strictly a coincidence that it occurred on the deadline that the U.N. set. Are they going to meet again soon, do you know? They voted as a group to meet twice a month to talk things over and just to see how things are going and more or less support each other throughout this. All right, Mike Bartley reporting live from Brookfield. Thanks. Joyce? As the deadline in the desert approaches, U.S. troops continue to leave Wisconsin for duty in Operation Desert Shield. Charles Benson joins us live from Volkfield via Satellite 6 with that story. Charles? Well, Joyce, we are at Volk Field. It's about a half hour east. Like many school children around the country, an 11-year-old St. Francis boy wrote a letter recently to an American soldier on duty in the Persian Gulf. But unlike other school children, this young man received a reply from a soldier we've all been hearing about a lot lately. Our Jeff Jackson has the story. <laughs> After school, 11-year-old Christopher Schultz likes practicing piano lessons or looking at baseball cards. But like everyone else, he's also been thinking a lot about the Persian Gulf lately. Mm, I hope that they don't go to war. 
In October, Chris, along with his classmates, wrote a letter to any U.S. soldier in Operation Desert Shield. But his letter wasn't received by just any soldier. Chris's letter ended up in the hands of Robert Kajowski, the Milwaukee soldier whose father wrote a song about him. Sometimes it's hard to be a father. Chris thinks his new pen pal is brave. Hard to be away from your family so long and think that you could go to war anytime and... A few days before Christmas, Robert wrote back, describing his surroundings in words only an 11-year-old boy could relate to. On our time off, we get very bored and go hunt scorpions. After we get them, we have scorpion races and fights. Sounds dumb, but it passes by the time. When Robert comes home, Chris says he'd like to meet him and maybe go to a baseball game. Something tells me coming home and going to a Brewers game would sound pretty good to this young man right now. Jeff Jackson, TV6 News, St. Francis. Just a reminder now, you can stay tuned to TV6 for updates on the Persian Gulf crisis from TV6 and from CBS News. We're going to join a CBS News special now.